Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about information rights management. This is one of the major features of Office 365. It's a really big selling point. And when you're starting to talk about you're know, moving to the cloud, one of the things that you will most likely run into is the security issue. And of course, any you know, aggressors, anyone trying to attack your company information is not going to go for the most secure documents. They're going to go for the weakest point in your chain. So you should really look at what's your weakest point of the, of the chain. And most likely it is the documents themselves. They don't have any protection in them. They're not encrypted. They're sent as attachments via email. They are added to USB sticks and passed along, so on. Yeah, so anyone that gets hold of that information can read them. What you can do though, what's been around since the early 2000s, is in, enforce information rights management on those documents. And this is what I'm going to show you how to get started with in this demonstration. It enables you to, to tell what's allowed to happen with my documents. And both documents and email. Can users forward these emails? Uh, outside of the organization can they be printed and uh, stuff like that so it makes it much much harder for an aggressor or an employee sending out information by mistake this doesn't secure you against everything but it makes your whole environment a lot more secure so you should really read up on this. Most likely this is not something that you've implemented in your own organization. And most organizations don't have the you know, resources to implement this on premise, but on Office 365 it's really easy to implement. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You go into the Office 365 admin under the service settings. You have lots of different service settings there. The one you want is the rights management. And there's the button for manage. And then you need to activate this. As you see, to go into the more advanced features, you need to set up an Azure subscription. But if you don't want to go into the advanced features, you just want to get the basics of rights management, I'm going to just activate this. Then you just need to confirm that, and then the right management is activated. So that's the first step, activating in Office 365. In the next demo, I'm going to show you how to activate this feature in SharePoint so that you can rights enable SharePoint and specific document libraries that you want to have extra secure. Thank you for watching this demo.